This workshop is all about the ideal gas law, so we start with the equation. There are a lot of variables in it. Everything except R, the universal gas constant, can change. Your job is to simplify it down by finding which quantities are held constant in a particular case. Firstly, N, the number of moles. A mole is a fundamental unit and a very large number. It means we don't have to use the actual number of particles in a sample, which would be huge, but can use this unit instead. So if I have a sample of 2.016 grams of hydrogen, I could say that there are 6.022 by 10 to the 23 hydrogen molecules, or I can just say that that is one mole of hydrogen molecules. The good news for this workshop is no atoms enter or leave the cylinder in these problems, so N is constant. More good news, R is also constant. It's always constant, which is why it's called universal. Its value is 8.31 joules per mole Kelvin. For part one of the worksheet, you need to identify forces. Gases have pressure, which means they exert a force F which is the pressure times the area. The third piece of good news for this worksheet is that the area here is the cross-sectional area of the cylinder, which is also constant for these problems. One hint for the free body diagrams is that the piston itself has mass. For all the remaining problems, all you have to do is work out which of P, V and T is being kept constant and then refer back to the ideal gas equation. That's all you need.